Should we do this video in ASMR? Hi guys. Welcome back to our channel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I decided to do an updated Q&A because it has literally been like... How long has it been? Three years. That's a long do we even time. like each other anymore? I love you. <laughs> He's just saying that. I just asked you guys on Instagram what your questions were and I feel like we should just be like real raw, you know? He's like scared. Just He's like real. Like that. We're gonna answer your questions truthfully, casually. Just have a good time. I already saw some really good ones. Steven, you should be like nervous. Should I be scared? Probably. You should I'm sweating already. You should be sweating. <laughs> we'll start with a lightweight question. How long did you guys date before getting married? We dated so long that I was like, I was what slow. The fuck. Like, are you gonna ask me to marry you? I, I never forget. It was five years before he asked me, which. I guess at the time, to me, felt like such a long time, but really, we were just so young at the time, so it's just kind of like, we still did get married pretty young, I feel like, so. Yeah. I guess five years wasn't that bad. Which couple would last longer stranded on a desert island? You and Sven, Katie and John, Shayla and Les, Karen and Sebas. Ooh. And why? I don't know, I think, oh. I think it, it's, Pretty close between Shayla and Les and you and I. Damn, I like I, did you hear that John and Katie? I don't think John and Katie would survive very long. They're scared of spiders. Yeah, I mean, everyone's scared of spiders though. I feel like Shayla would just be like, no. And yeah, she'd sit. make Les carry her everywhere and Les would take care of it. <laughs> Damn, Steven's gonna be shady in this video. I wouldn't say that I'm gonna carry the team between Steven and I, I'm not saying that. I feel like Les and Steven would survive and everyone else would just die. YSA Thug, oh hey girl, she said, did you guys move in together before marriage? Let's tell them how you started living with me. So This is a great story. That every time I'd come over for dinner or anything like that, I'd just leave something casually behind. He would constantly leave an article of clothing or like sunglasses that or a watch. Weird, but yes. He would leave something so that it would guarantee that he would be able to come back and pick it up. You never knew. Maybe like one day I'd just be like, no, I'm done. I feel like when we first started dating, it was so rocky because Steven was such a fuck boy. Whoa! That Bro, you really he, went out there and said that. <laughs> that he had to secure his return to my house. And then- Save my claim, if yeah, you Yeah, and then he moved in by just never leaving. He's been with me ever since. Like he, we never even had the conversation of, should we move in together? I was like, okay, this is happening. We're living together basically. <laughs> Jenny McElento said, are Harper and Cannoli ever getting any fur siblings? I honestly want another dog all the time. Every I, day we're on another Instagram account with I'm another like, dog looking for a rescue. I'm like, oh my God, I follow all these like rescue accounts and I'm like, oh my God, Steven, like we could have that puppy, let's rescue. I feel like it's gonna happen, but right now we got rabbits in the front yards, we got hummingbirds, we got- Yeah, we have- We got plenty right now. I know, but I think about it Soon. all the time. All right, so Desi Katie, we have to answer one ah. of her questions. What is the favorite memory that you guys have together? I think my favorite memory is when I proposed to you. We were in Japan, we were with mm -hmm. her family. I just remember the pure kind of like joy, but tears of happiness and just- I cried that so moment hard. right there. I don't, it was just so much raw emotion that that's the most memorable moment of our relationship. For me, it's like there's so many memorable moments, but like something I hold on to like so hard is when we first got our own place together. Mm -hmm. Like it was this little garage. I don't know, just like making our place together was so nice. And then all the times we spent in that little home, uh, like I was like, little webito. yeah, we called our little webito. I was like so excited to have that together and like I remember being just like so so happy in that that little house like I think about it all the time like it was my favorite so if Steven were one of the dogs which one would he be cannoli <laughs> are you going to be fat no you guys both have like very short attention span <laughs> no. oh my god did you hear her <laughs> you heard like, me talking cannoli. about you I just feel like you guys are kind of like, I'm gonna go to the beat of my own drum. I'm gonna do what I want when I want to. And I don't care about your rules. I don't care about guidelines. Like they both just kind of do whatever they want all the time. Tell me, what do you think about that? Oh, okay. Cannoli, okay, get out of here.
She wants to be in the limelight. Jordan Kuenster. I'm gonna butcher everybody's name, but I'm trying. What was the first thing Steven thought of you the first time he saw you? And, and what's the first thing he thinks when he sees you every morning? I would say the first thing that I thought when I saw you was like, damn, that's a hot girl. Did you? Uh, you had a girlfriend. You were still hot <laughs> and beautiful. Remember you said I was a... Yeah, you were a fuckboy, so that makes um, sense. And what's the first thing I think about in the morning? Two things. Damn, I'm lucky, and wow, what's going on with your hair? <laughs> my hair! He's very accepting of my looks in the morning, though. Kamora23 asked, what is it like dating a Latina? We all know they're crazy, lol. I would say we're strong, and so people think that's crazy. If you see a chonkla in a hand, run. People may think it's crazy, but it's strength, okay? Strength. Strength. Personally, <laughs> tell him, Desi. Personally, I'm very opinionated. Mm, I was gonna say strong and opinionated. That's, okay, that is yeah, very... just stay strong before everything. Mm -hmm. I say always what I feel, and I'm always honest. If you don't want to hear my honest truth, then like you shouldn't ask me. But the bright side of that is that you know that I'm always gonna be honest with you and I'm never gonna sugarcoat it, but it comes from a place of love. It's just hard to see it. I'm not crazy. What is it like to work alongside your husband and keep business separate from your relationship slash marriage and how do you keep the peace? I would say working together, it's, it is really tough to keep the business <coughs> separated from the marriage. All of the travel that we do, all of the meetings that we have, everything is, it is, it's business and it's relationship. We try and set boundaries but yeah. even those it's like okay we're not going to talk about x after x hour but it's so hard not to because our day-to-day -day life what do you do when you go if you're working somewhere and your spouse or your significant other is working somewhere else you come home at night what do you talk about you talk about what you like did how work your day went. or how your day went but our day is all work so we're together when we're in bed or anywhere things come up I would say to keep the peace, it's like we try and set things, like we go on dates, we go to movies, and we just try and do things and just disconnect, put the yeah. phones down for a little bit. We do definitely fight about work stuff. We do, 100%. It, sometimes it makes me feel better when we go on trips and we see like, the husbands will talk <laughs> about like how they fight with their like girlfriends or wives about the same thing. And it's totally normal. That makes it even feel better for me because I'm like, oh, it's normal. It's just, you're bound to, you spend so much time with somebody. Mm -hmm. But like, I think it's good to just say after this time, like he said, let's not talk about work. Brizina Lizette is asking Desi, if you had to save your life by doing one of two things, what would you do? Lick Steven's big toe or lick Steven's armpit? Girl, I know the way your ass one. is walking around barefoot, <laughs> I would never want to lick your toe, but I would probably have to lick your armpit. Girl, you're dirty. You just stay you're walking dirty. barefoot, okay? Bucking Bull Girl asks, since you guys do a ton of traveling, what is by far the best trip that you two have been on and why? We were gonna say the same thing, Bora Bora. I was gonna say Bora Bora. Bora Bora was just so fun for us. It's like, and like beautiful. It was it's so magical. pretty and I felt like relaxed. It was like it's such a good time, Bora Bora. I also loved that like we wanted to go there for our honeymoon, mm -hmm. but like we couldn't. It was like expensive, so it we didn't expensive. go there but we always wanted to go, so when we went, it was like kind of special, you yeah. know? What are your biggest pet peeves for one another? You go first. Me? Mm -hmm. I asked the question, so that means you have to go first. My biggest pet peeve is Desi will never ask you to do anything. She just insinuates what she wants done. Yeah, he hates when I do that. And she refuses to ask. If it's she... not like I'm doing it on purpose. It's just the way, like, I think my mom, and I think like my family talks like that, so. Mm -hmm. I just picked it up. Like I'll say something like, oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, there's a lot of shoes piling up by the stairs. Oh yeah, cause they're his shoes. And he just asked me to move the shoes. He wants me to just be like, hey honey, can you please move the shoes? But instead I'll just be like, oh, that's a lot. Like what are all these shoes doing here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, my biggest pet peeve. Steven is like a teeter totter. He'll say he wants to do something and then if he senses that you don't want to do it, he'll be like, oh, actually, no, I don't want to do that. Or like, he'll just like bounce around. And sometimes I just want him to tell me like, what do you want, you know? So that's my pet peeve. I'm always like, just tell me what you want. It's like the, what do you want to eat conversation. Yeah, and so it's almost like we have the same pet peeve because you don't ever tell me exactly what you want. You just insinuate No, 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 but you know what I want. That's true. You know what I want. What's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done in front of Steven? when you two first met? 
Sorry, I'm so unfazed. Let me just answer that question by not answering that question and say that literally nothing phases nothing me. Nothing bothers Steven as far as like if I were to fart, he just doesn't get hair. And it's weird because like you think he would care, but like no. He doesn't like, he's not sensitive to things. He's just very like, so everyone farts. I don't think I have an embarrassing moment because he doesn't, I can't really get embarrassed in front of him. What's your favorite meal that I've ever cooked for you? I'm just gonna say that the meal that you've cooked for the breakfast meal, mm -hmm. oh, he makes chorizo with egg. Tell me about it, girl. And then he puts it in a those little chubby flour tortillas. Ooh, what do I do with it then? And then he wraps the tortilla, wraps it all in the tortilla, and then puts it back on the pan and like makes it a little crispy. Sprinkles it with crema y queso, what and kind then cotija. And Ooh. then he puts jalapenos. Ooh. Sprinkle tapatio. Honestly, it's like. It just makes me feel some type of way. Like I'm like, <gasps> it's not healthy. My either. favorite, favorite <laughs> breakfast. Like I love it so much. Is there a specific moment in your life when you knew that I was the one? Like, is there something that you're like, like when did you think like I'm gonna marry this girl? Do you know? Yeah, we started dating young, mm -hmm. and I think this is now a reoccurring theme in this video. I was a fuck boy. Yeah. Honestly, just say it. Words. You kept fucking up and then realizing like, oh shit, let me go he, back to like. Yeah, I kept wanted to see like explore my options. I was young. I he wanted was young. To see I can't. What was I don't even blame on. him for it anymore. I'm kind of like we were and, both so. Uh, for some reason, I just kept coming back <clears> to Desi, and I don't know. It was just your your passion, your drive, just who you were as a person, how nice you were to people, how you treated your friends, and how you treated me, and how you Aww. made me feel. And after she allowed me to come back into her life, I, I knew that she was the one and the one that I needed to stick with. And it was like a long time that I allowed you back in my life, huh? Yeah. But it worked. I never knew that. I never really asked you that question. That's mm -hmm. a good question. You know how I knew you were the one? Oh. The way he is with my family is like, nobody would put up with like, it's, it's kind of hard sometimes. Some people aren't like as family oriented and that's a problem for me because especially with like my culture, I feel like we're so family oriented and I feel like I couldn't be with anybody who didn't support that or like want to be so involved with my family. And he was like always so involved with my brothers and like treated them like he, they were his brothers. And just even till this day, like he'll do anything for my mom. He'll pick her up from the airport. He'll drop her off. Like he'll never complain about doing anything. If I say like, I want to go to my dad's for a barbecue tomorrow, he'll be like, yeah, let's go. Like he's never once been like, ugh, I don't want to hang out with your family again. You know, and I feel like I see that and I hear that from other people. So I couldn't handle that. I feel like once, once I felt like he was down with my familia, I was like, all right. Did John and Steven naturally become such close friends because you and Katie are best friends or just because they had similar interests? No, I'd say John and I naturally became close and it is, we have very similar interests and it, it really helped because John and Katie have a relationship exactly like Desi and I's. I mean, he was, yeah. they're both working, we both work together, we both are in the same career, we do the same things. We like the same and, and things. It's. Um, it's a good balance. It's a really good balance because, you know, John was in the cameras and he did exactly what I did. So there was a lot of things that we could relate to. For some reason, like they clicked. I'm so thankful they clicked. Cause imagine like we spend so much time together and like, what if you guys hated each other? Like, what if you guys hated each other? I don't, I don't think we've had the same friendship. That, that would be have. hard. I, I think it was just lucky. There's a good balance between our group. We all have like something a little different that we bring mm -hmm. to the table and none of us are too much alike to where it's like bumping heads. Yeah. In a funny way, Steven and Katie are a lot of like and John and I are a lot of like and it works because I think you, you need the balance in the relationship yeah. like to balance each other out. So we're equally balanced, all four of us. Squad, Mary Ellen Torres says, how's everyone doing today? <laughs> <laughs> We're good. We're I'm good. 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 I like that question. If you I'm guys don't good. get it, the vlog. Was it the New York vlog? It was the New York vlog. On John's video, actually. Yeah. Someone said, who's your favorite child, Harpoon or Noli? Uh, there's no favorites here. I love Good Noli. I love both my children, okay? I they love, both have their like, different... I love them both to death, but I would say that I have, a, I have a special, 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 special connection with Harper that's like... She is like like any, like anytime, a very heartfelt connection to her. Anytime that Desi is like sad, not feeling good, sick or anything, Harper will come up to her and mm -hmm. just 
just cuddle with her and just lay with her. She will literally stay with me and not go to the bathroom because she doesn't want to leave my side. If she, if I'm crying, like she will cling to me. She hugs me, you guys. Like if I leave, mm -hmm. she holds onto my leg and hugs me and doesn't want to let go. I've had her, I'll never forget since the moment I met her when I adopted her, it was like she hugged me as a baby puppy. She was mm -hmm. this small. She went behind my ankle and she did not want to leave my side and she still does that. Yeah. I just was, came home like, like this. this small. Like Harper was this big and I was like, here's a dog. I was so upset, but I am But now, is it not the best thing I ever did? It is the best thing that you have she's done. She's just, I mean, there's something about her that's like, she's so loyal. She's a loyal dog. Like she would save me if something happened or like- Cannoli she, on the other hand. Cannoli would leave me If you have a piece food. of bacon, she's gone. If you have food, she'd be like, bye. <laughs> and I love Cannoli's personality. I love everything about her, but the connection is just like, is something about Harper yeah. that her and I go way back. I've had her for 11 yeah, years. 11 years, she's almost 12. I've, and so I just like, I cherish my time with her. Yeah. She doesn't like to be on camera. That's why I don't snap her as much. People are like, why don't you give Harper more attention on the camera? She literally hates when I She'll put the phone put in her, her face. She puts her paw up against the camera. She puts her paw up and she turns her head. Like mm -hmm. instantly I put the phone up and she's like, cannoli on in their hand is like. <laughs> so many questions here. How do we manage to be happy all the time? You guys, nobody's happy all the time, okay? I don't care what you see on Instagram. I don't care like, how perfect someone's relationship looks. Like nobody's happy all the time. You see like the highlights. Yeah. And there's days where, you know, we don't snap or we don't film or, you know, everyone has issues. Totally it's it's all about how to work through them and find <coughs> happiness and keep going. Yeah, it's totally normal. Like don't look at your relationship and then look at somebody online and be like, oh my God, their life is perfect. Their relationship is perfect. Like everything, no girl, okay? Like nobody's gonna like, put their fight on Instagram. I'm not gonna be like, take a picture of this fight or like- <laughs> Steven, stop. Or like, let me record <laughs> the, the Like, as he's yelling at me, be like. <laughs> Can you, know you imagine? I mean? it's, you Hold know what? That's stop. It. Like, I'm tired and you're holding the phone. <laughs> Maybe we should fight on IG Live. No. <laughs> Everybody has their good things, their bad mm -hmm. things, their good days, their bad days. How do you find motivation and push yourself to be productive on the hard days? The thing about this job and like we're, we don't have a boss. You have to be your own boss. Most of the time that's great, but it's also like you have to be the one pushing yourself mm -hmm. every day. You have to be the one wanting to top yourself every day. Like nobody's gonna be behind you to like be like, hey, you know, you need to be doing this, this and that. Like you have to think and constantly research and be like, what is it that I have? What is it that I should be doing? How could I be doing this better? How can I do this more? That's one of the things that I find very attractive in Desi is the drive that she has Ooh. and how passionate she is about the work that she does. And I think it's one of the reasons why she's so successful on social media is because like she said, she doesn't have a boss. She pushes herself. So sweet. And she continues to get better every single day. You have to be a hustler in this industry. And that's one thing that like I respect about every single YouTuber. As much as people say like, oh, being a YouTuber isn't a real job, it is 100%. Oh. Not only is it one job, it's multiple jobs tied into one. We just make it look really easy. There's a lot that goes into creating content. You're picking the outfits, you're taking the photos, you're finding locations, you're filming, you're editing, and you're researching, you're, always... you're constantly teaching yourself how to do things. You're managing, researching business side of things. There's so much more besides just like record and then the video shows up on YouTube. It. It's like a hustle, you have to continue. Nobody's gonna push you, nobody's gonna nag you, nobody's gonna make you do anything, like you have to show up. And so in my mind, I always think like, I have to show up today. And then that also goes with like, you have to give yourself days off because that's something we don't do either, like the reset button. That's why I said Sundays, if I want a Snapchat, if I want an IG story, cool, which I usually do, I always yeah. want to share what I'm doing with you guys, but. If I don't, that's okay. And I have to tell myself like, it's fine if you're not online for a day, like it's fine. This is nice. This is from Jess Reyes. This isn't a question, but I want to thank you and Desi Perkins for constantly putting out content and being yourself. You both have helped me through dark times of anxiety and depression. I love you guys. That is what makes me want to keep pursuing and pushing because when people say those kinds of things, it makes me feel 
like, wow, I can't believe that I would help somebody feel that way or like make them feel better or be there for somebody when maybe they don't have anyone to be there for them. That's what I love about being online. It's like, there's people that are feeling alone, that are feeling like they don't have friends or their family situation is tough. But I feel like you could always come to your favorite YouTubers channel and feel a connection, feel like you have somebody there who's gonna like hang out with you. And like, I love that. If you guys had to do impressions of each other, what would it be? Hmm. He's scared. He's I'm like, oh. scared. Well, I won't get mad at you. It's for the video. Famous last words. I won't get mad at Famous you. Famous last words. Taking photos with you. Okay, tell me how it goes. Steven, your angle's wrong. Steven, take it from a different angle. Steven, can you, why are you not telling me that my shirt's not tucked in? <laughs> Steven, Steven, my hair, my baby hairs. <laughs> Literally the other day he filmed me for a whole segment of the vlog, my nipple was out. <laughs> Steven, hello, <laughs> my nipple is out. Are you gonna tell me? It was art. <laughs> Girl. What's my impression? That's when you, you're like, oh, I have to tell you something. <laughs> This guy. Because I tell you, I gotta tell you something, and then you don't say anything. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna wait for her to respond. No, but then when you, if I even if I do respond, he'll like zone out for a minute <laughs> and like just forget what he was about to tell me. Like he'll be like, and then he'll start the story, and it's almost like he goes somewhere else, and then he forgets that he's telling me the story, and I'm like, y'all ever get overwhelmed by all of your accomplishments, overwhelmed with happiness? For sure. Yeah. Sometimes we're sitting somewhere and it's quiet and then I just like look over and I'm like, damn, damn. I'm fucking proud of you. Thanks, honey. I'm proud of you too. We just say damn like every day. We're like, mm -hmm. oh my God, that's crazy. If all the pictures you guys post wearing products that I've created or yeah. anything, I'm just like, wow, that's crazy. Always overwhelmed. Is Steven also a chicken? Yes, he is. <laughs> I'm an honorary. He is, is he a hen? He or hen, I think. Am I a hen? Someone says, can you talk about how you film the vlogs? What's your inspiration when you get there and how you want to capture the mood and edit it later, especially your transitions? They're impressive. Steven's gotten so good at transitions. Like, I'm just like, every time I'm like, Thanks, girl. I think my inspiration for the vlogs is I like to film it in a way that I'm bringing the people along with us. Mm -hmm. So that's why I have all of the B-roll, the shots, the drone shots. Like I want you guys to experience where we are. I don't want it just to be a camera in our face. The transitions and things like that, I just want to improve every single vlog. But there is a lot of thought that goes into it in a way that I film it to create that transition in the edit. Maybe that's a video that we'll have to do at some point to show you guys that. Yeah, when I first started YouTube, I edited all the videos, like, and I love editing. I feel like I'm a pretty good editor, right? You are a really good editor. Like, I'm proud of my editing. Then Steven started helping me edit, and now it's just, it got to the point where it was like, he started editing everything, and he just got so good at it. All of a sudden, I was like, wait, is he better than me now? Mm. So yeah, really, I mean, the mood of the vlogs is just capturing the moments and the people that we're with and bringing you guys along with us, and that's the inspiration. Yeah. What's your favorite camera to vlog with? My personal favorite camera is the A7S II. That's the Sony. I like it because it's a very dynamic camera. It's a, a higher end camera, it's more expensive, but it allows me to do a lot of the slow motion stuff. And then the- Oh, the, the slow motion's really good. The like depth of field that I can do to where like the background's blurred out, uh, but the, you know, foreground's in focus. It's a very dynamic camera that I have a lot of fun with and that's the one I like to vlog with. Desi has been using the G7X II. It's a little can. I find it more natural for me to vlog myself opposed to like him putting the camera in my face yeah. I like to just hold a camera. I'll also vlog on my phone Yeah, whatever you have like so we vlog on our phones GoPros the Canon the Sony. There's a lot It's like just give me a camera. <laughs> if you weren't a beauty influencer What would your job be if I wasn't a beauty influencer, which I think I would have needed to take this path to realize that this is what I want to do I would want to produce content for brands or people or like commercials music videos mm. Marketing things my favorite thing about creating content 
is visions. I have these visions and I'm like, I don't feel more passion than what I do about thinking of the vision of the video or like how something can be edited or like, oh my God, Steven, wouldn't it be sick if like this transition was like this into this and like we really collaborate a lot on, on those things. And I get so excited that I'm like, damn, I could do this for brands. That's what I would do. I would be so passionate about that, like constantly creating. That question on my side of things, if we weren't doing social media, I think I'd be doing something similar. Steven's sick at like designing shit. He actually made our dose packaging. Like he did all the graphics and like all that stuff. He used to do that for companies before, like create their logos and stuff like that. When I did my sunglass collab, the very first round was so like, nobody really gave me like a designer or anything to work with. They're kind of just like, hey. Desi <laughs> kind of sketched it all out and then I took it all in Photoshop and then meshed it all together. He created it on his computer and we gave the designs to Key and we're like, this is what I want. And so that's really cool. If you guys decide to stop watching my videos, brands, hit me up. Okay, I will. We'll start you know, producing more we'll start, content. We'll start doing some cool shit. Yeah. This is a fun video. Yeah, this is cool. I feel like it's like very uh, therapeutic also. It's our own little therapy session. This is our therapy. You guys are, th oh, some, one of the questions was like, have you guys ever seen a marriage counselor? <laughs> no, no. not yet. <laughs> Can Steven dance Spanish since he's white AF? Girl, Hell I cannot no. dance he at all. He can't dance Spanish, chicken, <laughs> white. He can't dance anything. Nada. I really don't get embarrassed. I don't like. He doesn't get embarrassed. I don't care by what his people dancing, think. But, he but I am like so shy to dance. Oh but yeah, I'm, no, you do. It's get weird. I get really awkward and tense, and he does this, this, like, and then he shakes his knees. Oh yeah. But it doesn't go. It, it never Here will be to the, the beat. That's the that's the same tempo. We could be slow dancing. That's the same tempo. He needs. <laughs> He needs a lesson from like Will Smith and Hitch. Somebody. Oh. I keep telling him, just do like a one-two step. I don't but know what that is. But he can't do a one-two step do without doing this. I'm the this. most uncoordinated dancer in the world. It's so funny. He's <laughs> <laughs> who overfeeds Noli. Oh. She's thick. Honestly, I'm gonna blame my brother. He overfeeds her. We have her and we have Harper. Mm -hmm. So she will eat all of Harper's food. I don't know how to stop her. Separate bowls, maybe? It doesn't matter. She would go to, she'll eat a lot of all the bowls. <laughs> Steven Perkins, how do you deal with guys hitting on Desi in front of you? Desi doesn't like this about me, but I'm very secure in our relationship and Desi. Sometimes so I, I don't just get, want him to I don't be get like, jealous. She wants me. me to get jealous and be like, step in and be like, hey, that's my girl. I don't why need you to get like, you? like why, I don't need why, you. Why are you, you spitting game at my girl, huh? 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 Steven huh? is so. Huh? That's not me. I don't need you to get like <laughs> crazy, but maybe be like, yeah, yo. I take it as a compliment though. I'm like, that's my girl. Yeah, like, I already know I'm going home with her. Like, go ahead, spit game. You're going to get embarrassed and she's going to make you feel like shit. He knows that I'm going to shut the person down. It's actually really funny to watch you shut people down too. That's one of the reasons I let it happen. Although I did date someone before who was really jealous and I hated that. It's like, what do I want? Maybe something like just every once hey, in a while. That's my girl. No, I don't want that. I don't need that. <laughs> Does Steven have any tattoos? I do not. He would never get a tattoo. Literally, like, no. I'm done with tattoos. I have regretful ones. Nobody knows about it, but it's there. What I've never it? said that on what YouTube before. Nobody, what is it? I'll show one. I was like drinking margaritas, having a good time, and- Recipe for disaster. And me and my friend were like, yeah, let's get tattoos. I had a tattoo on the inside of my lip. It's crazy because it's still there. That's it's from like still how long ago? There, I it Eight was like years, ago? years and years ago, and my friend who I did it with, hers disappeared after like three weeks, but mine stayed, and it said sweetheart. Like, why would I get that? The worst it's part is the heart has faded, so now it just says sweet. sweet, and I feel like that movie where they're like, sweet, dude. Dude, sweet. Oh, it's yeah. terrible. But nobody can see it, so it's fine. It's like, whatever. Yeah, Stephen wouldn't get tattoos. There was a time where I was like, just get one, and he didn't, but no. he's smart for not doing it. There's a lot of regret tattoos out there. Does Stephen Perkins ever get jealous of the bond I have with Katie? No, I like it because it gets you out of my hair sometimes. <laughs> He just wants me out of his hair. Yeah, right. Whatever. You and John cannot live without Katie and I. Like, Katie and I will be like, let's have a girls day. And I swear these two, they'll find a way to hang out together. Like, they won't just stay home and do their separate thing. Like, you expect us just to stay home and do nothing? I don't expect you to stay home, but like, you guys have to be together if we're together and we're not with you. Are you jealous? 
I'm not. I'm just saying y'all need us. Mm. Oh, I like this question. Do you have any problems with your in-laws? I don't. I think we I are love... blessed with like a really lucky relationship that we both like each other's parents. I and always think about like that. Us. I love his mom so much. Mom she Perkins. is the best. She will literally, she's always made me feel like I'm her daughter and not her daughter-in-law. She'll drop anything for me, anything for Steven. She'll be there, she'll like, whatever I, the I need. the coolest thing about my mom, anything that you could ever need, like she'll the most like, yeah, random I thing, I just call her up, I'll be like, hey, do you have this? And she'll be like, yeah, come on over, it's right here. And... She's the best. And like, I always got along with your dad too. He lives in Virginia now, so we don't see him as much as we used to, but like, we used to always go over to his house for Sunday, like barbecues and stuff. So you guys checked a house off the list, what's next? An empire. An empire. I thought he was gonna say babies, but he said. Oh shit! He said an empire. Well, yeah, we're gonna create the empire. Damn, we're gonna with be our busy. <laughs> did you always enjoy Desi wearing makeup? That's a good one. Yeah, I did. I, I like Desi is a beautiful girl with and without makeup, um, but I absolutely, I love her with makeup. You like what I do? I like what you do. You're good at it. You should keep doing it. Have y'all pranked one another? If so, what was the epic prank? Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> one time. I'm a prankster. I love pranking people and I haven't done it in a long time. I saw online that if you took like a brown paper towel roll, shred it up and you soak it and then scrunch it back together, you can make it look like a legit piece of poop. 100% authentic shit. One of my friends was like staying with us. I said, you know what? Let's pretend like you just had to take the biggest <laughs> shit. We'll put the piece of poop on the toilet seat and then we'll oh, wait for no. Steven to have to use the restroom, see how he reacts. And it was the funniest thing. He pulled me aside and he's like, dude, there's like a piece of shit on the toilet seat. How does somebody do that? Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, I wanted to be nice about it though. I didn't want to like embarrass her friend, but I was just like, how? He was Why? freaking out. And then I was like, Janine, did you do this? And she's like, oh my God, I don't know how that must have happened. Like I must have gotten up like too soon or something. And it like dropped out. It was hilarious. He doesn't get embarrassed. He doesn't, but this was like, he was like, I was flustered. <laughs> he was getting so flustered. And he's like, this girl just shit on my toilet seat. And we finally started dying laughing and we were cracking up and we, and he was just like, what? And I was like, it was fake. Thank you for that. Oh, that was good. I need to do that to somebody else. This is Allison Beechen. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this updated q and I've been waiting for this. My question for you and Stephen Perkins is, have you ever thought about expanding your own personal brand instead of just collabs? As other YouTubers have gone on to create their own clothing brand, makeup line, have you thought about doing something similar or at all? Yes. I want to have my own brand, not high-end like Chanel, but for example, under Chanel there's makeup. There's perfume, clothing, there's handbags, kid clothes. Like I wanna be able to make a brand where I can do a lot of things because I have a lot of ideas and I don't wanna just do makeup. I'm excited, but we'll see. I do wanna start my own brand, so we shall see. I support it. Thank you, thank you. Did Steven ever think Desi would make it this big? I didn't know what would happen. And there was no career path that this was a thing, but even when it started, you did Instagram as a portfolio for your makeup. And I don't even think this whole industry didn't even exist. So for no. him to even like fathom like I makeup. I have no being idea. But it's funny because Desi had always said that she was going to do something and be something big. And sure enough. When I was a kid, I used to feel that way. I used to feel like I'm gonna do something. Like I have dreams, I'm gonna be something big. And then there was a time where I was like, wait, maybe I'm not, maybe this is like. You came correct though. Steven, what was your mom's first impression of Desi? Did, did she like her? Did they click? Was Chicken nervous? I would say my mom was like, how'd you get so lucky with that beautiful girl? His mom and I have always been cool. Like she'll always take my side. If I ever, it's like true. before when we were younger, I'd be like, I'm calling your mom. F I'm calling your I'm, mother. I'm Wait, hold up. No, 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 no. Wait, don't call my mom. Come on, chill, mama. chill, chill. Come on, man, chill. Every fight, my mom would be on her side. You, <laughs> she, she would she would call I my mom. I was like, I'm gonna call your mom. And then my mom would yell at me. And she would be like, <laughs> Steven. She's always on my side, which I love. Thanks, mom. Love I you. love her. Have you guys gone through a long breakup before? Six months. We went through a six month breakup when I thought like for sure I'm never eating back with him. Like we're done and then here we are. 
we got back together. She was dating someone else. I was totally dating somebody else. And Mind then you, he was a fuckboy though, remember? He was. And I was like, that is it. I am done with him. And he's the oh, only right guy on. who ever like got me, you know? I think that was like the best because then you really realize that like shit, you fucked up, huh? Yeah. You were like, oh wait, that's wifey right there. That's wifey. Yeah. She's wifey material. So last one. All right, last one. Like Steven's one. done. He's like, I'm done. What would be a reason to quit YouTube making videos for good? Not that I want you to quit. Keep going, girl. I never think about quitting, but I always talk about like, what if one day I decided that like, I don't want to do this anymore. And my brother would always be like, you're never going to stop. I feel like as long as I still enjoy doing it, because I, I won't do anything I don't enjoy anymore. Like, yeah. I'll move on to something else or like find a way to do something that I do like. Maybe if like the YouTube world got so nasty or, or like just somewhere where like you didn't want to create that content and it's just... Sometimes I do wonder like, oh my God, because I'm not doing crazy videos, are people still care about my videos? Sometimes you feel a little pressured. Do I have to do like these crazy Crazy, like let me do my makeup with like a banana to like get people to watch I don't want to do that sometimes I get a little discouraged because I feel like drama brings views so I feel like if it gets to a point where it's like oh my god this is just like not what I want then I would quit but I would still be doing something else I wouldn't just quit and not do anything. Yeah. I'm having so much fun doing this Q&A and mm -hmm. Steven's like... Let's keep going. No, you want to no, quit. No, let's keep going. Let's give the people what they want. Somebody said, will you continue to do videos even when you have kids? Yeah, most definitely. Yes. Like right now, I know our vlog channel is a little bit more like vacation-y and I all. want it to be more casual mixed with vacation-y yep. because that's not real life. We love doing those because we feel like we can get really artistic and like it's more of an art form to yeah. like create those. We love like it's inspiring to be in new places. It's like the highlight reel of but I want to do more like casual, normal, everyday life type of vlogs on that channel. Especially when we have a family. I love watching It's Judy's Time and Benji and like the fact that they're all their memories of their kids growing up are Every there. That must, that's going to be so cool yeah. for their kids to see later. Everyone wants to know. We want to have kids, guys. We're going to have kids. I actually have a video coming up that I'm thinking about putting up. It's going to be... That's it for now. There were so many questions, but I think we've videoed like over an hour we did of footage. Over an hour of so questions. we will have another QA maybe four years from now. No. <laughs> if you like this kind of video, let us know and uh, we can shoot some more content like this. Yeah, I like doing these kinds of videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you don't follow our vlog channel, we do have a vlog channel together and it is called The Perkins. So make sure that you follow. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Like follow this the video, Perkins thumbs channel. this video up. Up. Come on, y'all. Please. Please. We need your help. It's <laughs> rough out here. It's strange. It's tough. Talk to you later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. See you in the next video. Bye. Does my breath smell? It's a little hot. Because I had to like, eat. I had a lot of coffee and like kale salad with like. That's <laughs> that's what I smelled. <laughs> Are you ever gonna film a chocolate tutorial? Like tips, form, aim, velocity. <laughs> Are you ever going to film a distressed denim tutorial? Oh, hell no. Listen, I don't even know what you're talking about. You're on my weave. Oh, my bad. All right. Ow! Thumbnail? It's a little aggressive. I think we got it. Okay. I think we nailed it. I will throw this Essentia bottle at you. <laughs> you won't be the first time. <laughs>